Time to get to our featured guest today here on Football Américas. He is none other than Mexico's all-time leading scorer at the international level. Now forward with the LA Galaxy, Javier Chicharito Hernández. Javier, great to have you here on Football Américas. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, guys. How are you? We're great. Okay, so we're about right now 13 days from the start of the MLS season. You're opening up April 18th, Sunday, against Inter-Miami game. Folks can watch on ABC. I want to know, Javier, what would make a good season for you, both individually and for the group? Is it a number of goals? Is it playoffs? Is it a trophy? What would you consider a success? <laughs> I mean, you already <laughs> answered with, with, with the questions. Obviously, with goals, it means that I'm helping, in a way, my team, good performances. And then, obviously, we want to, to win as much games as we can so we can qualify to the playoffs and then aim, aim to the trophy, to the big one. Uh, Javier, uh, what was this chase for Javier Hernandez? It seems like years and years of Major League Soccer trying to chase Javier Hernandez. And then what was Zlatan Ibrahimovic and what he did at the LA Galaxy for those two years, 52 goals? They finally got their man. But were expectations too high uh, last year? Were they unrealistic for a lot of people? No, no, no. And I mean, like I said in a lot of interviews as well, I don't want to, to, to get out of the responsibility that I, that I took already to improve and to... Uh, seeing which uh, parts I need to improve, but I mean, COVID hit, the, the bubble as well was a, a strange tournament, and then the season, we didn't play with, with the whole team, it was weird, we play again with, with the same uh, teams four or five times in, 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 in less than two months, then, then obviously uh, the playoffs without people and stuff like that, even though we didn't qualify, so I mean, it was a, a weird and strange season, but I think right now, uh, no, 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 not only Chicharito, LA Galaxy, or, or, or this club. I mean, the whole MLS is going to improve so much now in the way mm. that they try to, to implement the, the, the calendar and stuff like that. So I think for all of us in this country, it's going to be an amazing season in soccer uh, speaking. Javier, let's talk about some rivalries. There's a pretty good one out there in Los Angeles, LA Galaxy against LAFC. How much does it mean to you personally, not just to be the best team in LA, but to beat your longtime teammate on the Mexican national team, Carlos Vela. I mean, it's, we need to focus in, I need to focus in myself to improve and then obviously do my job and then help my team to win as much games. And the, the rivalry in the end is going to be championships. It's going to be uh, cops. It's going to be winning titles. And then it doesn't matter who's going to score more or less goals. It doesn't matter uh, until uh, how far you get to the, to the playoffs. Until you get the trophy, that, 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 that's what it is. Uh, uh, sport is about it, you know? So, I mean, that, that's the only thing in my mind to probably, hopefully, as soon as possible, uh, win matches, play, and qualify to the playoff, and then I, I, I want to leave like a trophy. You know, this club has five already, so I want to be part of the, of the sixth one. You know, what I mean, makes it, no, I'm sorry, what makes ahead, it Trafico special there, uh, Javier? I mean, I haven't played a Trafico until, until I play uh, the one in, in the preseason like a couple of weeks ago. So. Realistically, I cannot speak uh, still, so thankfully, on this season, I, I, will, I will feel it, and hopefully with more fans uh, than, than, than now. So, yeah, I will explain to you, but in the outside, it's, it's, it's like all the derbies, all the uh, classicals and rivalry games, obviously. You know, it has a special uh, sense of, 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 of a game, you know, without getting uh, out, out that every single game in this league is very hard. You know, Javi, Carlos Vela has been in the news lately because he's spoken a lot about leaving the door open to play at the Olympics. And when I think about Javier Hernandez's career, I mean, the biggest of competitions, biggest of teams in the world, you haven't missed out on pretty much any competition you've played. When I think Champions League, when I think Premier League, uh, all these great competitions, would a tournament like the Olympics still be something that's missing for Javier Hernandez? Would you be interested in a tournament like that? I mean, I, I'll never know. The the thing is, like, I've never I'm never uh, said no to the to the national team, and I and I haven't retired yet. So I mean, all doors are open, but of course there's there's a lot of circumstances that need to happen, and and my only job is right now to get focused in my club, to improve my 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 level, my performances, and the only thing like the the, the things that brought me to the national team career in a way was doing very good in in, in my club in that in that time. So. That's my main focus. That's my main goal. I want to to give my best uh, to this club because they've been trusting in me since since last year until today. So I want just to to return back all of that with good performances, help my team, and I think I think this season is going to be so much better than than the last one. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.